Okay, hello. It is currently September 14 and I want to talk for a bit about my website. I currently have a website up and running, themingostudio.com. I kind of soft launched it last month because I wanted to have one singular place where I could keep the things that I've been letting out and selling. I made a free goals template recently and I also have this registration where you can sign up to be matched with a pen pal. So I did end up launching my domain, but I do want to show you guys what it looks like right now because this is not what it's going to look like forever. Over the next couple of months, as I work towards launching a product in the near future, I want to make sure that this is the perfect website that I can use for the rest of my business. Let's talk about what it looks like as of today. So this is what my website looks like right now. Basically the opening page literally leads you directly, oh, there's a little pop-up, <laughs> but it leads you directly to this form where it says find a personally matched pen pal. Down here is the footer and that's where you can technically also go to the free goal setting template and you can get the freebie there and then also on the find a pen pal pages is where you can officially purchase the pen pal form add to cart etc and then i have all of my links up here for youtube instagram pinterest mail and then of course a cart this is just what i have right now and i think it has been rather effective temporarily i will definitely update in a little bit when i have some more finalized design decisions that I can chat about. Okay, excuse the weird yellow lighting. I don't know why it's doing this, but today is October 2nd. I created a new document for the journal that I'm making. And as you can see, there are a lot, a lot of pages here. The journal is going to be about 240 pages. That's pages, not spreads, but I do have 240 here. And then I went through and finally figured out how to add these little dot grids on everything and make it line up perfectly between all of the artboard so that I can finally start adding in the spread designs. Like here you can see a bit of the tracker page that I aligned to fit all of the dots etc. I'm glad that I have this step done because I feel like I'm actually making progress compared to what I had a couple days ago but it's all just a work in progress as I try to fine tune out these details on the computer and then I also need to draw hand done details on my iPad. Hello, ignore my sweaters back there. It's currently October 22nd. My goal for this journal was to be able to have it out, like sent out to the manufacturer by the end of October. And so I really, really want to get this journal out before this weekend. I don't know how it's going to happen. Honestly, I don't. I don't want to rush anything and make it sloppy, but I need to get this out as fast as possible so I can launch as fast as possible. Okay, but just to show you, this is my huge journal PDF where I have all of the months. Now, I ended up last night copying all of these. So I have the goals page here and then the habit tracker and the mood tracker, and they actually now have titles I decided to put those in there so I have calligraphy titles and all of them I need to do the art here this spread in the middle I'm going to leave blank in case someone wants to put like I don't know a different tracker academics planner whatever they want to put here it's empty for them and then over here are the weekly spreads and I just finished them last night so every weekly spread is a little different there's some vertical ones box ones and there's some horizontal ones and I finally last night finished all the artwork so each one of these spreads for each month has a different artwork that matches with the theme and then it's the same like all the way down copied yeah so all of my weekly spreads should be done i think everything will turn out fine it's just a little bit stressful because obviously i am hand drawing everything so i don't want it to look like something was actually a mistake and not just because it was hand drawn you know what i mean so this is what i have so far i have a super busy week like i said but i'm really hoping to get this done and send it out asap Hello beautiful people, it is currently November 1st. It is a designing day. Let me show you what I'm working with right now. This is my little setup here. I'm literally just literally sitting on the carpet. One thing about me, no matter what I do, is I'm going to have a Pinterest board. So I do have one currently going. So I've been doing this as far as looking up ideas for my website. I've also been looking up inspiration for my vector cover. By vector, I mean the cover for the journal that I'm creating, but also I want ideas for my logo. This is what I've been working on. I did this a couple months ago up here 
these are some ideas for my logo for my brand mingo studio adding some floral or leaf elements adding some sparkles in places so this stuff down here i drew today these are some ideas for what i'm going to put on the cover of the journal my two options in my head are celestial moon star sparkles or more nature flower leaf and I'm not sure what I want to do. So I think I want to mix them by doing a moon with a leaf, but I don't know how. That's where I am right now. And I'm just going to set you guys down so you can watch me do a little bit more of the designing process. Hello, hello, new day. I worked so long last night on trying to get this journal completed. I had a couple last minute things. I wanted to add copyright um, symbol to it. I wanted to fix the cover page. I wanted to do a couple things. And I also worked on the vector cover. So I'm actually sitting at my desk today. Are you proud of me? Let me show you what I'm working on. Basically, I know this looks like crazy amount of files right here. I exported every single one of my journal pages as a PNG because I want the quality to be pretty high. So as you can see, they're all individually done and they have like the dot grid behind them and everything. Everything. So there are 240 of these <laughs> and I need to combine them all into one single PDF. So I'm going to work on that in just a second. But I also want to show you the designs that I finalized last night for the cover of the journal. This is the design that I finalized for the front of the journal. So as you can see, I changed it a little bit from last night. It was just leaves yesterday, but I worked on it for a while. My mother suggested that I change it to a rose because it's a little bit more, you know, dainty, pretty and everything. So I changed it. I like this a lot more. I think it looks pretty professional. I think it looks very much like my brand. I want the quality to be as crisp as possible. So if I export it from Adobe as a PDF, it loses a lot of quality. So what I'm doing is I'm exporting as a PNGs and then I'm going in and through Adobe Acrobat, merging them into one singular PDF. I feel like I'm all over the place, but I'm so excited. I need to get it out, I need to get it out, I need to get it done. Gosh, here it is. That's pretty sharp, I think. That's as good as I'm gonna get, I think. So I have in every month, goals, cover, calendar page, tracker page, blank page, and then four weeklies, and then one page of blank. Okay, good. Okay, let me email my contact. Okay, that is all I got for now, I guess. Honestly, at this point, I need to go do homework. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll keep you updated. I'm having such an existential crisis right now because I'm working with fonts for my website. And I literally went through every single font on Squarespace because I want to find a new font. I've been using Recoletta. That's kind of what Mingo Studio is right here. But I want to find a new font that kind of is very similar, but it is new and it is already on the Squarespace website that we don't have to import it for all of my website pages. And I'm having a crisis. I don't know which one to choose. This right here is Ono oh Blaze Face. And then there's also Bastromon. I can't decide which one I like better. They're both super, super cute. And they both have their own little like tweaks to them. Like this one, I think the spacing is weird on, but then the other one, like some of the letters are just a little bit too skinny. They're just little things, but I don't really have much leeway because I want to use one that's already in Squarespace. So it's like, help a girl out. Which one do I use? This one or this one? I don't know, I don't know. Hello, I hope you can see me. So I've made quite a couple changes to my website. I was just working last night, adding a couple of the basic pages. I'm gonna show you what I have so far. So these pages down here are all the ones, you see how they're like grayed out? It means that they're not actually published yet. So my website is live, but these ones are not visible unless I make them published. So I did an about page. I haven't actually written anything in yet. As you can see, it's just like all basic. And I'm gonna put pictures here. All the pictures are most just fills right now and I'm also gonna frequently ask questions down here I also put a contact page in here I love the little less chat thing and then you scroll down you can like send me a message about you know whatever it is people need to talk to me about also it's important to note that like this is kind of squished but when I do full screen then it'll be like full width like that so this looks a little better now that it's like full width compared to when it's all squished up on the side like that then I did a products I recommend page so this has all of my different affiliates and most of them have little codes to go with to get a little discount off and then the last thing is I have a page for my YouTube because I feel like it's a huge part of my brand so I have find me on YouTube here and then you scroll down and I have two videos that I featured but you can click on these and like it'll play it from YouTube they are embedded in the website so yeah super super cool I feel like I'm making progress I have decided I'm going to be using the Ono oh Blaze Face font this one over the Gastro Gastromon I think that's the other one hopefully I can start using this font in my thumbnails as well
It's been a little bit. Currently, it is November 28th. On November 8th, I ended up sending out the invoice so everything was paid and ready to be manufactured, so that went out. And then now, about 20 days later, I got the notification that my package was delivered. So all of the journals are currently at my parents' house back at home, and I'm so excited to hear that they've been delivered. So my mother is sending me one for pictures, and I'm gonna start taking photos and everything for the promotion side of things, one that gets here. Until then, though, I have been definitely working on my website and trying to update things over there. I feel like this is definitely a cram week because right now it is November 28th. My goal is to launch this journal this weekend on Saturday. That was my goal for like months and I'm still going to stick to that schedule. I have a lot set up on the website. I just have to add most of the final touches and that will come in with the pictures that I take later this week. My friend's going to come to a photo shoot with me. It's a lot of last minute things and I am still in university so like there's a lot of other things going on as well but I am confident that I can get this done and I just want to get it out as soon as possible. That way you guys can buy it and get it shipped to you before Christmas in case it's a gift or before the new year so you guys can actually use your bullet journal for the new year. I also want to show you guys some updates with the website. I have gone in and added new pages so all of the images right now are just fillers but this is what the opening home page is going to look like and then I have my undated bullet journal here link to go pre-order. Down here I'm going to have a little core section. These photos might stay but this is just about like my bullet journaling passion and like where it all comes from. Get my goal pdf. This has been free and this has been available for months now quotes and then down here is just the footer i also have like shipping return terms and conditions um, as far as colors go i'm kind of tweaking them but this is like the palette that i have it's like a mixture of some beiges and browns but also greens and a bit of pink so i feel like that's rather consistent with what i already have and it's a bit of me you know so i'm really excited about that all that's left now is for me to get my journal and actually start taking photos with that and then also i need to put finishing touches on my website and besides that i think we're ready to launch which is crazy this weekend is going live and I'm so excited about it, but I'm also like, there's so much to get done, so much to get done. This is months and months of work accumulated together, and I'm so happy to finally be able to share this with all of you guys. It has been such a journey for the past five months since July, working on my website, working on my bullet journal, but I'm very glad that it's finally out for all of you guys. I will put a link to my undated bullet journal in the description box below so you guys can check it out. But also, I'm going to be posting a part two of this vlog in about a week where I showed you guys my launch day. And well, let's just say there were a lot of struggles in the last couple days before launch. So I'm having an issue with my journal. Don't know where the package is. Everything's last minute. I don't know what's going to happen. Just really crossing my fingers that everything turns out okay. Yeah, like I said, the days before launch was super stressful, but you guys will have to wait to that vlog to see what happens. Again, links will be down below to everything. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in just a couple days.